A group of up to 20 youths has ransacked a supermarket at Cranbourne, showing little fear of being caught. Shop owners in the area say they've had enough of being terrorised by the gang that clearly has no respect for the law. A group of teens make their getaway after storming a suburban coal supermarket. Got your faces, you little bastards! Cranbourne mum Alicia was shopping with her young family when a gang of up to 20 youths rushed into the store, stealing whatever they could grab. It just seemed like a swarm. That's the only way I can describe it. Our worry is that they were probably armed. A group was seen walking towards the coals around 6pm on Saturday before mayhem was unleashed inside. They ran in and just went rampant and sold hundreds of dollars worth of stuff and they surrounded security guard and what could he do? And the girls said, you can't do that. And they said, well, you can't stop us. Local businesses say they're becoming increasingly intimidated by young gangs. I'm so scared. It's not safe. It's not good. Yeah, very scary. They think it's fun. That's not, it's not OK at all. Police believe some of the youths who robbed the Coles were later involved in another robbery at a bus stop here on Lyle Street. Up to six thugs surrounded a teenager and threatened him before stealing his phone. I'm concerned that people are going to start becoming vigilantes or taking matters into their own hands. Lock them up, because it's just getting bad. It really is. Estelle Greepink, 7 News. Police are hunting a gang of teenagers who ransacked a coal supermarket in Cranbourne. Shoppers have told how the brazen thieves laughed and taunted staff as they left with junk food. Neri Tai has the details. A group of young teenagers accused of raiding a coal supermarket. Yep, that's right, I'm getting you. Captured on camera, fleeing the scene. Got your faces, you little b Up to 20 youths stormed the store at Spring Hill Shopping Centre on Saturday night, helping themselves to junk food. Chips, lollies, Coke, um, soft drinks, basically anything they could get their hands on at the front of the store. Um, but stuff that wasn't really important. They taunted staff and elbowed them as they left without paying. You can't stop us. We'll take what we want. They were very tall and confronting and you could tell they weren't going to take any nonsense. Alicia Fulcher was shopping with her son Ethan and three-week-old baby girl when she witnessed the brazen theft. She decided to follow the thieves. And why did you decide to go out and film them? I was really angry, <laughs> obviously. You know, they put my children into danger. While staff called police. Staff are very well trained there at this supermarket and they haven't approached the youths or tried to stop them. That's part of their training to stay out of the way so they don't uh, get injured or harmed in any way. Police are investigating whether the same offenders were involved in a robbery here at this bus stop on Lyle Street. A 17-year-old boy was approached and forced to hand over his mobile phone. That probably occurred about two hours later. We're investigating whether there is a connection between the two incidents. I'm concerned that people are going to start becoming vigilantes or taking matters into their own hands. These kids are going to be seriously hurt um, or other members of the community will be. Neary Tai, 9 News.